the first question is just to introduce yourself and your role at your publishing company. My name is Matthew Chan. I am the Integrated Solutions Manager for House of Binancy Press. In practice, um, that just means that I shuffle data around. Right now at the press, we have over a thousand active and forthcoming titles, counting ebooks and audiobooks and variants of print. That would be over 3,500 um, individual title records or hundreds of thousands of pieces of individual metadata that we create and maintain uh, about our catalog of titles. Would you mind actually explaining metadata a little bit more? If you think of a book as a collection of pieces of information or data, um, then metadata is just the information about those books. Um, it's what makes it possible for people in the industry to talk about books in a kind of cohesive way. Now, if you could please uh, walk us through a typical day at work and then maybe a not so typical day. So a typical day for me uh, usually starts with answering emails. Um, I might get uh, emails from the sales team, for example, asking me to investigate why an Amazon page for one of our titles is displaying the wrong um, information. Or it could be a request from the marketing team asking me to assist with the automated system that we use to help generate um, the layout of our catalog pages. Or it could be a request from one of the editorial teams asking me to help create title records for tracking some forthcoming book. In a not so typical day, um, I might be asked to represent uh, House of Nancy at meetings about things that kind of cut across um, the industry on questions like what should the next version of the EPUB standard look like? Or what is the best way for publishers to make information about their accessible ebooks more discoverable to the people who need it? Can you talk to us a little bit about how your role fits into the ecosystem of Anansi Groundwood and why it's important? If you believe, as I do, that your books are just collections of information, that they're data, then the information that helps us describe those books and to talk about it in a cohesive way is kind of the thing that under, underpins the ability for people in the industry to do whatever their tasks and responsibilities happen to be, right? It, it all comes down to data. What would someone outside of the industry be surprised to learn about your role or publishing in general? I think that it would be that such a role exists. I think the fact of the matter is that when data is good, you know, when it's accurate, when it's timely, people don't really take notice of it. It's really in those rare instances where things break that people really start to pay attention to the data. Um, and there's a saying that kind of captures this idea of like data people um, being unnoticed until something goes wrong. And it's not mine. It comes from um, Tom Richardson, who is kind of the metadata guru for BookNet Canada. And he says that it's the 10% of bad data that makes the 90% of good data unusable. And that's very much the case um, working in the data part of publishing. What do you think fictional media, like movies and TV shows and books, get wrong about the publishing industry? Quite often, publishing um, is portrayed as something that happens in isolation. I think it's more romantic almost to imagine the long-suffering author or like poet alone in her room, staring pensively at her, you know, old-timey typewriter. Uh, I think the reality is that publishing really, it, it takes a village. Um, the reality of working in publishing from day to day is probably closer to how media portrays the offices of newspapers. It's a lot of organized chaos. It's people in meeting rooms. It's people collaborating over the walls of their cubicles. Um, people rushing to meet deadlines, that sort of thing. Why do you think independent Canadian publishing is important? I mean, it's a, it's a big question, but I think it's a big question with a simple answer, right? Because 
independent Canadian publishing um, tells uniquely Canadian stories. And if you ever, you know, want to question what that means, just take a look at the list of Anansi bestsellers and then compare it to a list of North American bestsellers. And you will see that those are two very different lists. Mm -hmm.